Hello Future Shop. I would describe myself as a rather unique individual, and as such, my end of summer ritual must also be quite unique. It all started the summer going into first year, where myself and a friend decided it would be fun to go on an end of summer adventure. And that adventure led us to northern Alaska, where we stayed for a week, living off the land in a small igloo we built ourselves, surviving off nothing but whatever Mother Nature provided as well as about a week's worth of supplies that we packed. On the fifth night, a terrible noise came from outside the igloo, so I investigated and discovered that it was some irate polar bear, deranged probably from like global warming or something. I caught the battle that followed on tape. Watch this. The summer going into second year may seem lame by comparison, but we didn't have the cash to go anywhere great. We stayed at my place and insisted on not sleeping for as long as possible instead. It wasn't much of an adventure, but come day three, reality just started to fold in on itself. And you thought Katamari was weird before. This summer we decided it would be fun to do something more adventurous again, so we planned a bit of a canoe trip. And being as it was our first canoe trip, we decided it would be good to make it an intense, week-long, 150-kilometer canoe trip from our university back to our hometown. And to spice things up, hey, why not dress up like pirates? As for next summer, I don't know where these adventures will take me. But thank you for watching and voting. Don't you just love democracy? Bye. One more thing. When I win... Can I get the product service plan?